So, I want to do a quick video. I haven't did a video and I want to play with my lighting. Oh, wow. This camera's about to die. Uh, anyways, I just want to show a couple things. Mainly, I want to test my new lighting out. I've had it for a little while. But I picked up this console. And I know I made that last live stream talking about um, how I messed that console up. But uh, you can repair these consoles. This this uh, So if you see consoles in the store and, and you think that maybe uh, there's too much work involved or something's damaged... It, there's a lot of work in it, but if you see something is damaged, don't be discouraged from buying it. Um, you have a, you have time to return the item. So, you know, pick the item up, and that's what YouTube's for. I've learned quite a bit of different, quite a bit of information from YouTube. Um, a substantial amount of information from YouTube. And w one of the areas that I've focused on is learning about how to repair these consoles i try to take the step up and do a, a major uh adjustment to a console and i failed but i think that was more on the information relay i just it's kind of one of those things where you had to you had to do it to learn about it i think i could fix a console up but i don't know if i'll continue i don't know if i'll do that it's just i was missing some key tools and where i should have been told um but anyways, nothing against the people who made the video. They were try the videos. They're trying to help, so I appreciate the information. But anyways, with this, this front plate face plate was um, damaged because because when you press the eject button, it wouldn't open. So somebody was digging at it, trying to get in there, and I assume they were probably a reseller and they wanted to see if there was a. They probably bought the console, or at least. Um, and to try to see if they could get the game out of there. Um, so again, it's there's a lot of resellers out there, and I don't think a lot of them are good. So those people will weed their selves out. So a lot of times you could get a con. There's times you could get a console, and there's like a twenty dollar game in there or something. I, maybe I'm probably. It could have been the owner who did that, but anyway. So I tested this in the store. It was only $25 for the console, so I s assumed something was wrong with it. Man, I'm trying to talk fast because I think this is going to die. It says the, bat <laughs> the battery is empty. Um, but anyways, there was a couple things. they tried. I forgot what I just said, but was saying, but they were trying to dig in here, and then the button went open, and it was only priced at $25. And then this part was damaged, and... Um, <laughs> that was connected to that piece so um when i seen the price was 25 they've been pricing pricing shit up way too high so i figured that it was some damage but the surprising thing is stuff like this doesn't sit on the shelf and the tag on this was old an older price tag because they color coordinate it and it wasn't the newer price color so what probably happened is, is somebody bought this, took it home, and maybe they were an experienced reseller or may maybe they were just going to keep it for themselves. Possibly they tried digging in here, couldn't get this open. Well, if they just went to YouTube, watch some content, that's what we're all on YouTube for, right? Don't just watch the stupid entertainment or the funny videos and, and all that crap. Like there's ton of tons of that crap, but there's tons of valuable information um, invaluable information on YouTube. So, um, you could watch videos how to, I got, I had another faceplate from another console. I replaced it. So now this is working. Um, the eject button is a very simple fix. There's plenty of videos about that. That was, a, that was exactly what it always had. Well, I've had about three consoles with the same issue and it's a very I'm not I'm not gonna I want you guys to figure it out, but well I'll just say it, it's it's just a rubber band. Okay, so if you see these in the store and they won't open, that's like the most easy fix. It's just a little rubber band in there, you gotta take it all apart, which is the hard part, but 
the um, putting the rubber bat on there is my little son could both of my children could do that um, when years ago they could do that part um, so if you have like a you know 10 year old kid you could even show them this part uh, uh, taking apart is the hard part and it's time consuming um, this this sort of work is time consuming um, that's the downside of, of doing this these video consoles is they do take a long time but um, I've learned that these need to go on Facebook Marketplace because you're going to make a lot more money and it's going to make your time, the effort you put in the time, worth it. So um, I'll get back to that part in a second. Hope, if this dies, good thing I got my video editing program. I could just edit it. So anyways, this this plate right here, very simple to, to repair. And uh, again, you could order these parts. The rubber bands are extremely inexpensive. And the faceplate, um, I haven't ordered it, but I would imagine it would be less than $5. I already had a faceplate and I already had rubber bands from the last job I did. And I, ha I, I had this um, console faceplate. So the disc tray faceplate and the console faceplate and the rubber band were the three things that I needed to add to this console. Um, so... Uh, I fixed it so whoever returned it so again if you see these on the shelf and they're damaged or they have or they won't open pick them up because you don't want that's money you're leaving behind and the so these again it's time consuming and these are typically too expensive I wouldn't depends what console it is if it's over $30 then I might not get it unless it's a, if this console was over $30 I wouldn't have fucking bothered with it but it was $25, but it took time to build it. And it had this box with it. So what I kind of learned is that you create a, I think creating a bundle is like the best bet on Facebook. Cause you, uh, typically I used to just sell the console by itself, but then I realized like, Hey, people want the whole setup. They want a game, they want to get it and they want to play it right away. And you're not losing too much more money. This is not the controller I'm I'm putting with it. I haven't even took the photos. I'm putting a regular white controller with it. Um, but I paid twenty five, and I'm gonna put this on Facebook Marketplace for seventy dollars. Now again, the consoles vary and all that. So if I paid twenty five, I'm gonna make thirty five, and we'll say it's an a, an hour and a half of my time. So again, uh, it's a, uh, or no, what is that? Not 35, that's 40, $45. So we'll say in two hours time, I make $45. So about 20 bucks, $20 an hour. Um, Cause these actually cost me money too as well. So I'm gonna make about $40 or $20 an hour doing this console, but the, and it's not a ton of money and it's time consuming and you could list, you know, 30 pairs of shoes for the same, uh, the same amount of work right but the good thing about these is they sell they always sell they always always sell so you know you're gonna make your money you know you're gonna get paid for this work to whereas these um, you may not you may never sell these So I'm gonna move on to these I found these at the same store actually that's another thing if, if when your store when a store's hot when you're you're going to a store and it's hot keep going to that same store cuz they all they always change they um it's just never a guarantee that a store is going to stay hot or the prices are going to stay good what happens is is they pay they don't pay pay these employees very much money even though they're raking in the dough they don't pay the employees very much so they can't keep good employees so even if, when they do bring in people who know their brands and know their stuff those people will eventually leave because it's only a matter of time before they find a better job or they realize that job isn't a career or they're too maybe they're smart enough to say i'm going to do something else or um they realize they're never going to get a raise so uh, those those employees leave. It is frustrating when you go to a thrift store and they're charging too much money. Um, 
especially when their prices are higher than than eBay. That's very frustrating, and I'm dealing with that quite a bit now. It's it's a bigger problem than it was a year ago. But the thing is, back with actually with these consoles, is that people who pick up stuff like this, they don't know the value of something like this, and they underprice it. And those people, in my opinion, um, they won't last are uh, in in the resale business because sooner or later you're gonna start sell, you're gonna pick up consoles that have issues with them, and you're gonna just list them and sell them, and people are gonna want returns, and then you're gonna lose your money. You're gonna pay double for, or you're gonna pay for shipping labels and lose that money then you're going to be stuck with the item that doesn't sell and you're going to have to sell for much cheaper because those people who are just hurrying flipping this for 10 15 dollars which is way too low um those people they don't know how to repair the simple shit. so if they see there's damage within it's not working they'll just take it back to the store and they also don't realize is that the value in these how how you could get premiums for your electronics right because every these are going to sell they're 100 percent sell through rate as long as your price isn't too high so what does that mean if you're guaranteed to sell this 100 percent of the time then that means get as much as you can and there's a lot of people out there that are underselling stuff and like i just said in my opinion those people aren't going to last are are they going to eventually like say hey i'm only making ten dollars like as much work as this is, is um, it takes a lot of time, and I'm not making a ton of money right now. And I'm kind of realizing the more I do this, it's like, man, it's gonna be a lot of work just to make a to make a, a decent, you know, living. You know, if you're trying to make thirty to fifty thousand dollars a year, it's gonna be a lot of work. So I'm like, you know. I got to maybe if I buy a garage and a house, maybe that'll change because I'm doing this all out of my apartment. And I, I, I know there's constraints with that because I'm trying to eat clean clothing and and do all this, like everything in the same area. I'm trying to have my leisure, everything in the same area. So I got to move stuff around and things are in the way when I take when I go to take photos, I got to set up the lighting and all that. So hopefully if I get a garage then it's it'll 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 open up a bigger much faster pace for me that way the 30,000 to 50,000 a year doesn't seem like such a such a uh such a, a large amount of my time being sucked away from me just to make a decent living cuz uh, again I, I enjoy doing not again but I enjoy doing this but I don't want to, you know, 16 hours a day every day just to make that much money. Then clearly that's not, that's probably not worth it. But so anyway, so the people who undersell things, like, I just kind of wonder about them. It's like, you know, how much money are they really making? Like you could be okay with making $10,000 a year. Maybe, maybe your husband or your wife works a full-time job, but, uh, at some point it's like okay i gotta make some more money doing this than than what i'm doing that's what it feels like so my camera is about to die i gotta hurry and get through this and so one last thing from that store i these were on the shelf and uh they were 50 percent off not because they were too expensive but because um nobody picked them up so that means they were sitting on the shelf for over two weeks. These are like in bra perfect brand new condition. Condition they have the the stud. There's um, well I guess that's like plastic now that I touch it, but it's like a metal studding, and they're the platform hills. So learn your learn your categories that you're in, because the some of the research that I've done said something like this should sell. So I grabbed it. I checked the price and people had it listed for uh, 60 to $80. Now, nothing, none of it has sold. So that's concerning because there's four pairs of these for over $60 and none of them have sold. So I listed mine for $50, $10 less than other people were asking and mine are in tip top condition. So we'll see what happens. But, that, but when you learn your category and you put in the effort, 
you could go to a store where this an item like this has been sitting on the shelf for two weeks and not one other reseller has even bothered touching or picking. I mean, maybe they picked it up. So that just goes to show that the other resellers aren't putting in the work and um, I got a good item for 50% off. So I paid uh, $5 for these pairs of shoes and the price tag was 11 on them. Well, I mean, half of a five fifty, but the price tag was eleven on these, and I was willing to pay that. So when I went to the register, I totally spaced out. They were fifty percent. So they, the cashier told me, "Oh, they're fifty percent off." So I was, it was a half. I knew that, but I forgot because I was looking at other stuff. So it was a pleasant surprise because I was like, "Oh, I was willing to pay what was on the sticker because of the comps." So you're not five bucks, you know, you could spend five bucks at a coffee shop. So if, even if these don't sell, um, it's well worth it picking them up again. These are the platform stud it. So there's a couple things going for them. The, uh, it's a platform hill stud it. They're all black. So it's like your grunge gothic look. And uh, they like the lace, the lace up combat boot look. From what I've heard and from what the stuff I've seen, that this is what's in style now. I I haven't even bought a pair like this, but I saw a lot of, a lot of items in in this uh, style, this moto type style, biker grunge, gothic Y two K style. So um, I was comfortable picking these up at eleven dollars, but pleasant surprise got them for half price. So so with these, I just wanted to show know your category definitely know the categories you're in whether it's it's consoles electronics and shoes because you don't want to just hone in on one or two items or one or two things that sell you want to be able to expand so this is an experiment for me to see what happens with these um but that's that's how it's gone that's why i have such a large diverse inventory because i i love to research and take my to learn take my time to learn new things and uh that's where the money is because you're it's i know i said in the last video you don't have to fight with other people and there's inventory for us to buy but it is competitive out there i'm getting a lot less hard goods and a lot more soft goods i would call this soft as in textiles and um fabrics right soft goods are clothing and um linens and stuff like that and hard goods are going to be toys electronics ceramics the hard the hard stuff sells better the soft stuff takes longer to sell um but there's a lot of money in the soft stuff and it's plentiful so if you're having a hard time picking up the hard stuff then you get the, the soft stuff um but it's 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 more of a struggle and, and uh, I'm kind of at a point where I'm getting so much soft goods. I, I'm trying to slow down because I want to see how it sells because um, I'm no expert. And it's just it's it's all learning curve. I'm three years into this and I'm trying to learn still. So um, imagine where you well, I have a theory that things are going to change up quite a bit over the next several years. But um, if this was like 10, you know, five years ago and I was at this point, you know, if, if I've been selling for eight years at this point, I'd really be able to just walk in the store and, and get my inventory without really putting much effort into it. Things are going to change, though, because I've noticed uh, there's a lot of Amazon stuff. There's a lot of inexpensive stuff that they're that they're uh, emulating the style of expensive vintage stuff. So a lot of new things that they're emulating older, more expensive styles, which is going to make it really difficult for us to find find the good expensive items because I don't really have anything on the screen like that. But where you have vintage sweaters, for instance, you could get, you know, $30 or so for that sweater. But now they're emulating those vintage looks so you're probably we're gonna have to like you're gonna have to know the tags and it's easy to tell vintage stuff but um some of that new stuff can sell for a decent price but it's definitely um the the, the value of it, it appears to be a lot lower so i would imagine 
unfortunately, five years from now, I'm going to have to learn a whole new group of stuff. So um, whereas if you started doing this 10, 20 years ago, you could just be set for a good 10 or 15 years of of kind of knowing the basics of this. So, but all right, I'm going to go before this dies and I don't want to have to record a smaller video. Hopefully I said everything that I needed to say. Um, yeah, let me think. Uh, well, maybe I could come, come back if these sell, maybe I could show that in a video. Um, I don't, I don't, I guess on a prediction on these is, I don't think they're going to sell very fast. Um, they're probably going to sell on Poshmark, but that's why I like Poshmark because it's a whole, the stuff that has a hard time selling on eBay is, 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 is good for Poshmark. So to whereas this console is good for Facebook, these are good for Poshmark. So we are already seeing a, a major change in the, in reselling, right? There are things I guess apparently are always changing. From what I'm learning over three years, it's never been stable. There's always something going on to where you have to... It's pretty irritating, but... So to whereas 10 years ago, this is just all eBay stuff and that's that, right? Well, now these aren't even going to... These aren't even my eBay items, right? I'm no longer listing this stuff on eBay because I'm not making enough off of it. And there's there's so much so much of this stuff on ebay whereas locally i don't gotta it's heavy so i could just sell it get the money right there and then again with this actually since it's still going uh since my camera hasn't died make sure you test these for the customer like you don't want to scam someone on facebook it, and it doesn't work because um unless you're willing to give them their money back but i'm not I'm spending the extra 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes in examining this whole console, doing what I got to do to I play the game for a minute. And I hate doing that because it takes time. But I do that because if if somebody tells me that this isn't working, then I'm not going to fucking I'm going to call them on their bluff. I'm going to say, no, that's no, nope, it worked fine for me. There is no reason why it shouldn't work for you. So don't don't do that to people on Facebook cuz once you get that money, you don't have to you could ignore them, you don't have to deal with them or you could return things if you want. Um I'm not doing that. I'm putting the extra effort into this asking 10 or 15 more dollars, 20 more dollars for my items because I know that they work and uh and then doing a fair deal for both of us. So um, I get a lot of people on Facebook asking, oh, $10 off, $20 off, $30 off. And it's like, no, because I see the ones you want me to sell it to you for. And it's one or two quick photos of somebody who's just selling junk that's laying around their house. They, they didn't test the console. They haven't played the console for years. Um, for all we know is that console doesn't even work. So um, people, people know, um, people always... People are like, I guess, kind of like cutthroat, like they're trying to get the best deal as possible, but don't let them take advantage of you just like you don't want to take advantage of them. You you want, if you're looking for longevity, you want to basically go to bed at night and not feel like a, a piece of shit or like, oh, I got one over on somebody, right? So again, maybe when these sell, I'll do, I'll mention it. If these sell fast, maybe I'll mention it, but... Because, again, if these are sitting there for a year, I probably won't remember. So, yeah.